and laid them on beds and couches that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow them, uh, overshadow some of them. And there were came also a multitude out of the city around about Jerusalem, bringing sick folks and went much, much which were vexed with unclean spirits and they were healed every one. And you know, it's interesting. It Hey, I was reading this and I did not see this. I promise to God I didn't see this. I was reading the scripture. Look what it says. It says trouble. Yeah, trouble. You know, someone's getting in trouble, y'all. Healing the the, the um, uh, Peter and the apostles laying hands, get healing sick. They finna get in trouble. Then the high priest rose up, and all they that were with him, which was the sect of the Sadducees, the religious people, and were filled with indignation. What you feel with indignation for? These people heal, you know, people that were sick and people that had unclean spirits. Why y'all in indignation for? You know what I'm saying? And laid their hands on the apostles and put them in a common prison. You know, laid their hands on the apostles and put them in prison for healing the sick and, 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 and getting rid of unclean spirits off of people. This is the church. This is the church that this is supposed to be the representation of that we're supposed to be following this pattern. Supposed to be. But they got in trouble. You know what I'm saying? And got put in prison doing what God said. That is just that by itself just drives me nuts and watching the church system that we go do every day go to you know Sunday and go you know do service and you know how many people are getting in trouble for you know doing the Sunday service no they can't because that's what the designated time they're supposed to go there you know and the church is just like you know so passive concerning their performance of the the gospel of Jesus Christ. But it shows right here that when they were doing what they were doing, they were uh people were uh in the streets, you know what I'm saying, sending six in the streets. They were coming out of their house. Now notice this wasn't taking place in no building. This event that happened wasn't taking place in no building. This was taking place outside. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is People will look at this church system and see this somewhat performance of somewhat healing and somewhat works or sign of wonders and somewhat performance and 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 dare to think that this is the ideal representation of truly being the ideal church that is in the Bible. Come on, y'all, please. Look, it's time to get in trouble. My look now, finna talk about Jesus Christ got in trouble. Jesus Christ got in trouble for preaching the uh, uh, the kingdom of God, teaching the kingdom of God. You know what I'm saying? Um, Doing the same thing, healing the sick, laying the dead. The, of course, scribes and Pharisees were jealous of him. You know what I'm saying? Got him killed. See, and th this is what the uh, Peter and the apostles are following Jesus pattern. You know what I'm saying? They got the power of the Holy Ghost in the day of Pentecost and got in one accord and bam, did these miracles and got in trouble just like Jesus did. What is going on? You know what I'm saying? Where is the truth trouble? Where is Christians standing on the truth, protesting the truth concerning God's word, concerning what is truth, what is supposed to be the true performance of the word of God based upon truly being the church? Where is the protest? Where's we want unity in the spirit? We want the unity of the faith, according to Ephesians 4. Because if we're going to truly be about Jesus Christ and doing the things of Jesus Christ, we have, we have to follow the word of God. I mean, 
The thing is, who's going to get in trouble for saying things like that, that the church is not doing what they're supposed to be doing? You know, I was just meditating, cleaning this place. I clean this place every uh, Sunday. And I was just meditating on, you know, the the rigmarole, road, man. It's just looking at people are just, you know, just, just going to church, coming out of church. And it's like uh, another, you know, probably lukewarm performance they're going to do all week. You know what I'm saying? Enough half-hearted, you know, uh, loving one another, a half-hearted, you know, a performance they're going to be, be doing at school. They're going to be at that job. You know what I'm saying? Enough half-hearted of concerning the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? They still going to have bitterness and animosity over somebody did this to them. Somebody did them wrong to them. And it's just, you know, really not doing anything concerning what needs to be done. Is what people are not speaking up and saying anything about it. Saying not anything about about the half-hearted performance, even though it says in the scriptures that we will, it will come a time that men will endure sound doctrine. You know, saying they should not now heap to teachers of each years. It it shows that that the Bible says that that we're not gonna. There's gonna be a time. You know what I'm saying? That we're not gonna do what the Word of God says and. Nobody's not uh, calling it out. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's not saying, saying this is the time. Look at this performance. Look at the lack of this performance going on. Look at this performance going on. And it's like, you know, no, we got to get in trouble for the truth. Look, Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. He got in trouble for the truth that got him 39 lashes in the crown of thorns and crucified for the sake of our salvation. These uh, apostles, these these disciples that now became apostles, followed the lead of Jesus Christ and now got the power of the Holy Ghost. And they went about doing save, uh, healing the sick, uh, uh, take, taking unclean spirits out, you know, doing God's word in the re evil religious system stops them and put them in prison but the angel of the lord we know about it you know you know uh woke up opened up the prison doors and brought forth the uh gospel see because when we get in trouble when we not uh individuals of this divided denominational system uh false denominational system i wonder if people are saying that the denomination system is false is anybody saying that? No, because they'll get in trouble because they will lose the popularity competition of what's going on around them, you know, because everybody about following what's popular and what everybody else is doing. And they're not going to speak against the what's to that ridiculously contrary to the ideal of God is these divided churches and divided people that are not going to work things together because I, I believe if Romans 8, 28 says all things work together. Those who love God will work together. You know what I'm saying? And nobody's not going to call that out. They don't want to get in trouble because all they was giving a position at church by a man. A man gave you a position at church. So you want to keep that position because if you start talking about the truth, you'll lose your position and people won't look at you like you this great preacher or great teacher or great whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know, you about uh, the prestige of the ideal of how people see you as a man and a woman of God. You know what I'm saying? So getting trouble for the truth. Oh, no, I don't want to lose my prestige. Uh, how people look at me in church um, based upon the eyes of people, you know what I'm saying? It's the dilemma that has been going on and continually going on that is not being protested enough that somebody is not getting in trouble for the truth. We cannot continue error performance and think God is going to participate in it. John 4, 24, God is spirit. They shall wor worship him, must worship him in spirit and truth. We have to be about the truth to stand upon the truth, regardless of what the many liars say. 
the many people that are pretty much that going to defend this ideal because, of course, they're comfortable in error. And, of course, the idea of this truth is going to demote them. They're not going to be seen as great in the eyes of people anymore. And, you know, we care about more about that than we care about God's word is what really the performance. And look, what you don't do after you listen to the video, you 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 show by your actions that I care less about the truth and I'm not going to protest anything that the church is doing contrary to the word of God because I'm not going to lose my popularity contest. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ lost his popularity contest to save your you from a life of sin. You should lose your popularity contest among people and be about standing upon his truth and get in trouble with it. If they don't like you, they have to deal with as what it shows up when you stand upon the truth. It says, but the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison door. Heaven will back you up. Be It's about heaven backing you up. It's not about the earth, people in the on the earth backing you. You don't need them. You need your creator to back you, the one that gave you life, the one that gave you strength, the one that is the reason why you live it and you have a purpose. You need heaven to back you up. And that's what, if you trust in, if you seek you first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost, it's all about heaven backing you up concerning what you stand for, concerning God's word is what's lacking today. And nobody's not getting in trouble and nobody's not coming against the kingdom of darkness of what wrong things that are be going to as a whole together. See, we need to be like uh, First Corinthians 5 and 4 and 5. It talks about that we gather together in the name of Jesus Christ to come against the evil of Satan. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it says gather together, then say become individuals, to become separate. You know what I'm saying? It says we gather together to beat and defeat the kingdom of darkness. Now, if we truly sincere about truly about coming against the kingdom of darkness, the agenda of most Christians will be about protesting that we need to get it together. You know what I'm saying? We need to gather together and truly become a true church that is about standing upon the word of God concerning what the word of God says and not about this building click, you know, association that's all about, you know, promoting people uh, to think they're, you know, promoting people to be this great man and women of God. No, it's about coming together as a church, as one to truly come against what's going on concerning to do these miracles that we'll be doing that we'll be really healing people. We'll be really bringing deliverance. We will do really doing wondrous works of signs and wonders of what we're supposed to be a truly about when we get in one accord. That is what's supposed to be the performance that is supposed to be expected if we're truly going to be the church that is the, that the gates of hell should not prevail against. You know what I'm saying? If we sincere and truly about the truth and you are ready to get in trouble for it. You know what I'm saying? Ask what Jesus got in trouble for it. You will get in trouble for it. Peter and the apostles followed Jesus and got in trouble with it, healing the sick, doing it. They got in trouble. It's all about getting in trouble, y'all. We can't get in trouble about the word of God. We're not truly about the word of God. Just that simple. And our lack of our actions of not doing something, should we should examine ourselves in the faith. Do we have faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ or do we fear men? We fear men of men going to arrest us, men going to do something bad to us. What do we fear? Do we have faith in God or do we fear men? Is concerning the performance that those those will do about and question about the the things that are going on in church that is contrary to the word of God if they truly want to get it about the truth and willing to get in trouble about it. Then we need to hear more uh, reports of people getting in trouble for the truth to know people being about Jesus Christ, the truth. All right, that's the message. And I hope you got it. Hope you be get in trouble for the truth for real. For the kingdom of heaven.
That's the message. God be the glory. Him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.